So we all know Unison for their MIDI chord pack, but they now have a new VST instrument that will help you out with your drums and drum patterns. Let's go ahead and check it out. Bolo! All right, before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys comment, and please turn on those post notifications so you guys will know the next time I have another video available. And at the completion of this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up if you like this type of content. If you do not like it, go ahead and hit that thumbs down. As you guys already know, I really don't care. So it's called the Unison Drum Monkey. It is a MIDI drum generator and it generates drum loops for like 30 different genres. So it's actually pretty dope and it's not like audio is actually MIDI. So this drum generator has a ton of possibilities. Every time you want to generate a new drum loop, it's always something fresh. It's never new. I mean, like you can click it a million times and it's gonna be something new. So this VST actually comes with over 3000 samples from professional producers and it actually comes with samples from a Grammy winning drummer. Pretty dope. And if you don't like some of the drums in there, you can actually use your own drums as well. So you can actually import your drums in here and make some dope stuff with that too. So another good thing is you can actually save your own presets in here as well. So if you come up with something pretty dope, you can actually save that preset and use that in like your other productions. This is also kind of cool because it has its own piano editor. So if you're in like a program that doesn't have a pretty good piano roll or piano editor, this has it. It has its own saturator. It has its own attack sustain, decay and release values that you can change. And it is fully edible. So you can put your sounds in there and do what you want to do inside of it and make it your own thing. So even though that you're making these inside a VST instrument, you can export these files via MIDI or audio. You can either combine these or you can export these individually. And you can also drag and drop these samples inside of your DAW. All right, so that is a brief overview of what it does. Let's go ahead and go to the computer and see how this thing works and see if it's something that you guys are like. All right, so we are now in Studio One and I have the drum monkey pulled up and that monkey is dancing. So um, this is a very easy plugin to use. I'm gonna go ahead and go through um, some of my favorite features in here and show you guys how to use this. It's very simple. All right, first thing we're gonna do is, as you can see, you see the little unison sign right here. And this is basically the way you would tell the plugin to send all of the data into each one of these little lanes right here and each one of these little lanes contain samples which these are all the samples here at the top as you can see it has genre it has house and deep house right here and it has a whole bunch of different stuff country drum and bass ethnic all that good stuff so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick r b right here and then i'm going to do the length for four bars and as you can see i got my tempo already set down here at 130 bpm so we already got the tempo set and this plugin will follow the tempo that is set inside of your DAW. So what we're gonna do to bring up a pattern is we're just gonna click on this little red button right here and watch this, bam, he does his magic. And as you can see, it has a closed hat, a snare, and a kick. So let's go ahead and play that right now. That's cool, sounds pretty decent. What if we don't like it? Well, we just go ahead and press this red button again and comes with a whole new pattern. Let's hear that. All right, seems pretty cool. Let's go ahead and try something else. All right, sounds good. I actually like this pattern, but I do not like the kick. So what you can do in here, as you can see, it has these other little smaller little units and things right up here in there, orange. What you can do is, this is to randomly pick a kick, snare, whatever you want to do, whatever sound you want, as long as it's on whatever percussion instrument it is, like kick, snare, whatever, it's going to randomly do that. So let's go ahead and just click on that real quick. And it has a different kick, let's play it back now. Sounds good. So you can do that for any one of these instruments. You can randomly do it. Let's let's try it with the snare. 
So we're gonna do the snare. Let's go ahead and play it. Cool. Let's, let's try something different. All right, so as you can see, I was kind of, you know, pressing the button to kind of randomly do it, but you can actually pick what you want. So say for instance, I want to go into the snare and I don't like that snare. I can actually go right here with all these snare sounds, all the 3000 plus sounds that are in here. I can click on that and now I can just go with my arrow keys and pick the sound that I want. I like that one, I like away. So I'm gonna click on that. And I'm gonna go back and press play. Cool. Now this whole program is all about being random and it's all about letting the program decide for you, but you can actually go in here and edit as well. So like if I wanted to add like another kick, like right here, I can just go right here and just double click on that. And I can add the kick in there and And I can add another one right here too, and you see how it sounds. Sounds good. Or what I can do is I can go right here to the side and press this random button right here, and it will randomly pick a pattern only for the kick. So let's go ahead and click on that, and let's see how it sounds. Cool. So now let's say that I like the kick, I like the snare, but I don't like nothing else. I want to just randomly pick something else. So I can actually lock these in. So I can actually lock the kick and the snare in right here, just the MIDI information. And I can go ahead and I can press this red button again and bam, it throws everything in there. And now we have a whole new pattern. So let's go ahead and hear that now. Now, as you can see, it did change the sound of the kick and the snare. However, to combat against that, we can actually hold on to these sounds. So say for instance, I don't like that kick and snare. So I'm gonna go in here and try to find a kick that I like. So let's go ahead and go back into here and find something that sounds good. Let's take that one, let's take Flood. And for the snare, Let's uh find something that's pretty dope for the snare. And let's go right here and let's go right here to create. And let's go back and let's see how it sounds now. All right, sounds decent. So what I can do now is I can lock in the kick. I can lock in the snare. That way, if I do change the pattern, nothing else will change so far as in the kick and the snare. So if I change this whole pattern and I do that and it gives me a whole pattern, guess what? The kick and the snare do not change. So that's actually very dope. Another thing that you can do in here is you can actually edit all of this stuff as well. So if you wanna go in here, you can go ahead and change the swing. So if we want to go ahead and change the swing of this, we can do this. Or even on my individual sounds, I can go in here and I can change different parameters on the individual sounds and I can even fatten up certain sounds like that. So if some sounds pretty weak, we can fatten it up and play it back. So that's actually pretty cool. So I know a lot of y'all gonna ask me, Bolo, what about adding in our own sounds if we don't like the sounds that are in here? You can definitely do that. So if like right here, if you don't like a kick or if you don't like the snare, I can go right here to my Bolo X Factor kit and maybe I like a clap in here. Let me see, let me see if I can pick some. I like that clap. 
I can take this and drag this right here over that snare and it'll change it. And let's just say I want to use a, another kick. I can go right here, take, take that uh, kick right there, slide it in right there and lock those two in there. And guess what? We press play. Now, some of you guys are saying, well, what if I want to tune my kicks and uh, tune like my hi-hats, my snares and stuff like that? All you got to do is click on this little arrow right here. It takes you right here and you can just highlight this right here and then you can just drag and drop these to wherever you want these to go so they'll be tuned up. So now that we have everything and we think that this is pretty much done, we can go ahead and export everything. Now, the good thing about exporting this is very easy. You can either drag and drop MIDI files when you do that, you can either do the whole MIDI stems or we can do the MIDI combined. So if we want to just do like a combined MIDI, we just press on that and then bam, it takes all of our MIDI combined. And as you can see, when I click on this and let me uh, take this out of here, as you can see, when I click on it, it has all the MIDI combined. OK, so now let's go ahead and exit out of that. Let's say, for instance, we want to drag and drop our MIDI, but in individual MIDI stems, we can just take this, hold it, and then now, boom, we can do that. And as you can see, it has all of our individual MIDI stems in here to where we can add sounds and do what we want to do and change up the MIDI if we want to. Same thing for the audio. We can do it the same way where we can go ahead and drag and drop full audio combined. We can take that and then drag the full audio combined in there. And as you can see, it has all the audio combined right here. And we can. Or we can actually send these out in separate stems. So we can go ahead and take that and then we can just do it as stems. Once that gets done, we drag it right here. And as you can see, everything is already split up. So when we play it. And then we can solo and do what we want to do in here. So as you can see, this plugin is pretty dope. All right, so there it is. As you can see, it is basically a nice little drum looper help tool thingy. And uh, it's not really complicated. I thought it was gonna be complicated when I first started using it, but it's not at all. And I think that it's great for a lot of beginners to use, especially if you guys do not know how to come up with really distinctive drum loops that'll help your productions. Now, for some of you guys who are a little more advanced, I think this can also be a helper tool as well. If you already have a drum pattern and you wanna add some other little stuff in it to kinda, you know, juice it up, this will actually help as well. So instead of like paying like a monthly fee for something like this, like a seven or a $10 monthly fee, this is something that you can completely own. It is $297 if you wanna pay up front, or you can make three monthly payments of $129 and this will be yours forever. And it comes with five exclusive freebies. They're about mm, 650, almost $700. It comes with a ton of MIDI files. It comes with like 60 bass samples and it comes with like 60 audio melody loops as well. Go ahead, check it out. Click that link in the description. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I always say, peace out.